In this video, we'll be seeing how to calculate the binomial coefficient. Now, to begin with, I thought it would be useful just to see that there are three different notations for the binomial coefficient. Uh, quite typically, we'll either see it written as n r, in a sort of almost written like a vector, really. We'll also see it written as n c r, and sometimes we'll also see it written as n c r, written like this. Now, just to make things clear, all three of these notations mean exactly the same thing. And, therefore, there's no ambiguity here. They all mean exactly the same thing. So, let's go ahead and see, well, first of all, let's see the formula for this. The formula for calculating the binomial coefficient is the following. It's equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. And I'll just box that there. This is a formula you want to make sure you know. Now this looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. So let's go ahead and illustrate how to actually use this with an example. Let's say we had to calculate the binomial coefficient which I'm writing here with 5 and 3. Then using this formula we can see that this would be equal to 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 or factorial of 5 minus 3, times 3 factorial. Now, look at the numerator. The numerator is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the denominator would be equal to, since 5 minus 3 is 2, that leads us to factorial of 2 times factorial of 3. Now here's the thing. If you look at the numerator for a second, we can see that we have 3 times 2 times 1. But that's exactly the same thing as factorial of 3. So those two cancel out. And already, this is already simplified quite a bit. We're now left with 5 times 4 over 2 factorial, or factorial of 2. Now the second thing to notice here is that since factorial of 2 is simply equal to 2 times 1, that's just equal to 2. And so this factorial 2 on the denominator is going to simplify with this 4 here. And we're just going to be left with 5 times 2. Finally, we can state that this binomial coefficient is equal to 10. And there you have it. We just calculated the binomial coefficient. Let's look at another example. In this case, I'll use a slightly different notation. Let's say we had to calculate 7c4. Well, using the same notation as we just did, this would lead us to 7 factorial, or factorial 7, over 7 minus 4 factorial, times 4 factorial. Now I'll go ahead and use the same method. I'm going to look at the numerator first and see that that's equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the denominator would be equal to, well, 7 minus 4 being equal to 3. That leads us to factorial of 3 times the factorial of 4. And again, we can see that things simplify a bit. This 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is the same thing as factorial of 4. So those two will cancel out. And on top of that, we notice that factorial of 3 is equal to 3 times 2 times 1. So that's equal to 6. So we can see right away that this factorial of 3 here and this 6 will cancel out as well. So we're left with... 7 times 5. And since 7 times 5 is 35, we can go ahead and write the final answer. 7c4 is equal to 35. And we're done. That's how we calculate the binomial coefficient.